Thank you for tuning in to the Three Minute Historian. In this series on American history, we're asking the question, what is America all about? What is it about America that sets it apart from other nations? Here's something to think about. One of the things about Americans is that we can be successful, but we feel guilty about it. Now, where does this guilt come from? In today's segment, we're going to look at something that might explain where that guilt comes from. We're going to look at the Reformation. You really can't understand what America is all about until you understand the Reformation. I can't go into everything about the Reformation in three minutes, but I can get a start on it. Now, the Reformation started about 1517, about 20 years after Columbus discovered the New World. And it happened in Saxony, which is part of Germany today. You can pause here if you want to take a longer look at the map. A monk named Martin Luther thought the Catholic Church taught incorrect doctrine. This whole story about Martin Luther posting his 95 theses on the door of the Wittenberg Chapel or Wittenberg Chapel, it, it's a really great story. I, I'd like to come back to it one day. There's a part in there with the Diet of Worms. Yum. But I mentioned Luther because he was the first to oppose the Catholic Church and get away with it. All of Europe was Catholic in those days. Those who opposed it were called heretics and were often burned at the stake. Martin Luther didn't go that way. He lived a full life and died peacefully. Now, after Luther pulled parts of Germany out of the Catholic Church, King Henry VIII decided to pull England out of the Catholic Church. King Henry had a special problem. Now, this is a really great story, and we'll come back to that here soon. So, in the 1530s, after Lutheranism pulled parts of Germany and Norway and Sweden out of the Church, and after Henry had pulled England out of the Church, John Calvin came on the scene. Calvin was a French lawyer who came to Geneva, Switzerland. He set up a code of morality that people in Geneva had to follow. This was something different. Previously, the kings decided which religion their people would follow. But here, the people who stayed in Geneva chose to follow Calvin. If they didn't like it, they could leave. Now, Calvinism spread throughout Europe. In England, the Calvinists became known as the Puritans. And it was the Puritans who established Massachusetts. Now, in America, we know all about the Puritans. There are some today who want to return to the high morality of Puritanism. Some in America who want to get away from all that. But it's the Puritan tradition that makes Americans feel guilty about being successful. Americans want to be like King Henry. They want to have a good time and then get rid of our enemies. But the Calvinism is right there nagging at us to do the right thing. Take another look at American history and you'll see how Calvinism influenced everything. Well, that's all for now. I hope you'll join us again next time for the 3-Minute Historian.